The top plays from week number eight are coming up right now. The K-Max leading passer doesn't showcase his scrambling ability often, but how about this play by Northmore's A.J. Bauer? Exiting the pocket stage right, then he'll circle back the other way and eventually rifles an absolute dot to Bo Landon on a third down and long. Observe the escape ability by the Golden Knight signal caller one more time as Bauer sheds off a defender, hops by another, and still keeps his eyes downfield to keep the chain gang moving in a 16-14 win over Mount Gilead. Carry on the road at nominee number two, looking to beat Colonel Crawford for a fourth straight season and Mace Puckett shoots in off the edge and swats the ball right off Logan Goddard's foot setting up the go-ahead score on the road, as mentioned. And as we slow it down a bit, you'll see it's a great snap, quick release, but Puckett just too much speed off the edge, helping Carey stay in the driver's seat for the N10 title. If we didn't have the video evidence, you may not believe me, but the Lucas offense rode the right arm of Bobby Grover to a big one over North Central. And check out this throw on the move for Tim Daly, who makes an awesome adjustment to secure the grab, and the defender can't even believe it. 51-yard touchdown connection, one of a three-pack of TD tosses for Grover in this game, but none prettier than this dime on the money to Daly in a 50 to nothing blowout victory for the Cubs. The fastest way to get from point A to point B may be a straight line, but Danville's Jacob Hackman saw a whole bunch of dudes straight ahead, so he veers off to the left hash, gets everybody to chase him like it's a game of tag before heading back the other way, eventually rolling into the corner of the end zone for a devil score. Watch again as Hackman draws all the defenders to one side of the field, eventually makes a break in the opposite direction, covering about 40 yards on this one-yard score, with Danville blanking Centerberg 12-zip to earn their third straight win. Closing seconds at Contractor Stadium, St. Paul trailing Crestview by six. Grant Coonley snaps a low snap like a champ and lobs one to the back of the end zone where Landon Freeze beats the defender and hauls in the game-winning score. You got to see this one more time. Excellent touch on the rainbow from Coonley. The Cougars defender lost in the sauce as Freeze gets two feet down with just 26 ticks remaining to give the Flyers a one-point victory over their longtime Firelands Conference rivals. Ontario looking to go 8-0 for the second straight season, hosting Marion Harding, who just can't seem to bring down Mason Van Tilburg. As he shakes to the edge, spins away from this would-be tackler, and mashes one more into the dirt on his way in for a 33-yard score. We'll take it from the top and see Mason run through the arm tackle. Breaks down here inside of the 20 for a trip into the whirlpool before laying some serious boom on the final line of defense as he dives into the end zone. Head across the county down to the Colt Corral for nominee number seven, where you're going to see Shelby's Michael Shepard go unmarked off the line, and Brady DeVito finds him running free in the middle of the field before he tosses the safety to the turf and skates into the end zone for a 47-yard score. And let's roll back the tape for this pivotal play that helped the Whippets break things open. Awesome play designed to get Shepard loose in the secondary, and he does the rest right there, as Shelby remains unbeaten at 8-0, heading into their showdown with Ontario on Friday. More from the MOAC at nominee eight, fresh off a galleon touchdown, Pleasant's Christian Burns is gonna answer the call on the very first ring. Racing his way through traffic like a crotch rocket and rush hour on the ensuing kickoff, bursting to the front of the pack and gets a last second block to spring loose into pay dirt for a 96 yard Spartan score. Another kick return touchdown coming up at nom nom number nine, Hillsdale going to kick it deep to Northwestern's Mason Myers, who will showcase the 2020 vision and speed as he accelerates through a couple of small windows and openings and comes out on the other side untouched, cruising 83 yards back to the house to get the Huskies on the board. Our last nominee is the final play in overtime for Big Walnut on the road at Westerville North where Nolan Burley will fight his way over the goal line in for the game-winning two-point conversion as the Eagles walk off on their OCC rivals at their place to stay on top of the Capital Division with a seventh consecutive victory. Make your vote count. Comment below for the top play from week number eight.